welcome to the composing and sonar tutorials which I have a high request for these things um, this is Chris with SSFNP and I'm going to be uploading some sonar tutorials for the basic or beginning user who might be switching from uh, Fruity Loops which I call Fruity Loops because it's too easy to use or maybe just GarageBand if you're just interested in starting with uh, sonar these tutorials are going to be concentrated towards the very beginning user so anyway after you uh, have installed Sonar, whether it be 6, 7, or 8.5, most of the versions are the same. The only difference in 8.5 is the option of the Aim Assist, this little feature, or um, the Matrix View, which we'll get to in a later tutorial, which is basically used for acid production, where you can use loops and program them. It's kind of nifty, but I don't use it that much. So let's go ahead and start from the very beginning. Uh, you'll come with up, you'll start up some Sonar with a uh, neat little interface where you can start a new project and choose from a track template. Uh, 6 and 7 had a MIDI track only template but for 8.5 and 8 we only have a normal which is fine because it only gives us one little track so we'll call it tutorial 1 and click OK. Now, I've already loaded uh, or started a new tutorial 1 so this is what it will load or look like once it loads. Um, this is called the track view. It's a standard view in Sonar and I'll go ahead and go to options and global go to your auto saving versioning tab make sure you auto save at least every two to three minutes as if you uh, have a sonar crash you will lose every all your project data since you last saved which will be a pain in the ass because I've had that happen to me I don't know how many times now let's go ahead and kinda tinker with some music instruments assuming you have a MIDI controller make sure you install the drivers have it installed and loaded you might have to do a little browsing on the internet to find them you can go to options and MIDI devices and make sure your inputs checked unless you're using ACT you don't have to have output and we'll get to ACT later on in another tutorial now to load instruments I've, I've already put up a tutorial on how to install the VST files but in this, to in this tutorial we're gonna sh I'm going to show you how to load them so you can click the synth rack tab down here or the key command is alt 8 and once you get the synth rack view up here I'll go ahead and delete this and go ahead and click this little plus drop down box soft sense and somewhere in the VST plugin file directory will be the VST you're looking for in this case we're going to go ahead and use contact 4 I've been using that quite often for most of my projects you double click the synth and it brings open the directory view in uh, contact now I'm assuming you've already had a little work with contact so I'm not going to go over the you know setup of its features and whatnot for this tutorial, I'm just going to load up a standard piano, Steinway B, in the far mic position. I don't use surround or close that much, so bear with me. This patch is pretty big. Now, once we have it loaded, pay attention to the synth that it's in. This is contact 41, and the channel out is channel 1. So I go ahead and double click this, name it piano. It's nice to keep up with the synths here. Now, in your track view, you can right click in the gray area of the either the audio, synth, or whichever track you choose and click insert MIDI track. And drag that down there through the borderline. Go ahead and name this piano. And we're going to go to the output, make sure it's piano 1, and your channel is the same as whatever it was in the synth, which is channel 1. Now, if your MIDI keyboard is set up correctly, you should have playback. And we're good. Some of the key commands for uh, sonar. W is to return to the beginning. Spacebar is, of course, playback, and we don't have anything written yet. Alt and then the number 3 brings you to the soundboard mixing view. And I've got it turned down because I'm recording in Camtasia with the what you hear output, and it can blow your ears away if I don't have the output of the instruments turned down. Alt 7 takes you to the staff view, this is a sheet music view. Alt 0 is back to the track view. That's just a quick run through of the basic views in Sonar. I'll get to the other ones in a much later tutorial. Now let's go ahead and kind of take it with some composing here. I'm going to hit R for record. Duh. That was a given. And you can choose to have quantizing enabled. All the quantizing does is take the input and make sure it's whatever you play is actual eight notes or quarters, whatever you choose it to be. It's just a time saver from having to make sure that all your notes are syncopated in the right rhythm. So we'll just use uh, quarters for this one. And go ahead and go up here to your metronome settings. And you might not have that toolbar enabled. You can right click here in the gray 
make sure your metronome's checked. And go ahead and click that. Go down here next to first beat and other beats, and I usually use it on negative 13 decibels for the metronome because the thing can get annoying and be quite loud after a while. So once you've recorded and enabled the track, go ahead and hit R for recording. Duh, another given. And that's it. You can see that the quantizing has automatically put it into quarter notes for me, so I don't have to uh, go back and edit those. And let's say if we wanted to add some other instruments to this, you can either load up another synth or I would just use the same synth right here in the piano. Go ahead and let's go ahead and add some circle bells from Tone Hammer's pack. You can either double click, click and drag, you should know that by now. And you'll notice that this one is now tracked or MIDI channel 2 under the same synth. So we'll go over here, circle bells, piano, track 2 synth. There we go. Now, if you wanted to copy and paste, just click copy okay make sure you return to the beginning because wherever that cursor is is where it's going to paste I can paste there or I can paste at the beginning which is where it's going to go we could turn the velocity down just a little bit because circle bells are a little bit higher velocity than the piano all right here's your velocity control that just sets the velocity for the entire track this is your pan and your volume effects of course you've got mute solo record um, this is your read enable, which plays the piano along with the circle bells at the same time. I'll go ahead and mute that. You can hear the piano in there with the circle bells. That just uh, allows you to kind of hear what another part sounds like when you're playing uh, another part in the track view. So this is just a basic overview of Sonar, and if you have any specific questions or requests for tutorials on specifics, just send me a message on this channel and I'll upload the tutorial. Hopefully I'll be able to get one up each day. As I said before, this is just a very basic overview on Sonar just to get you started, and if you have any other problems, send me a message and I'll hopefully be able to give you a video response. If you don't have the drivers for your keyboard, I suggest you go fishing around on the internet and find them because you know, unless I'm sitting right in front of the computer with you, I'm not going to be able to help you that much with your keyboard. And most MIDI controllers, especially USB, have their own drivers out there on the internet and they're not that difficult to set up in Sonar once you get the drivers installed. Now I hope this helps you and just send me a message if you have any requests for specific tutorials. Thanks.